When we think of Tassie, the great food and beautiful scenery come to mind. But the Apple Isle has a new attraction. He's a really big deal. And by big, we mean 700 kilo kind of big. It's Neil the Seal. He loves making new friends, but that's part of the problem. Do people love him? Yeah, people do love him. Do you love him? Yeah, I do love him. Why do you love him? Because he's amazing and he's also really funny. Absolute legend, um, you know, he's become, he's got his own social media account and uh, he's all over that. Look up Neil the Seal on TikTok, you will not regret it. He's an international star as well now. Yeah, international star, so yeah, definitely a celebrity. From local hero... There he goes. ..to social media star... Neil the Seal is back, the day we've all been waiting for. And now spirited away to a secret spot for his own good. Sometimes you can be just too darn cute. We're going home now, bud. We can't take you. We wanted to continue to celebrate Neil. We don't want people to love him to death. Yeah, I wouldn't go too close. Nobody's sure who adopted who, but Neil the Seal has taken a shine to locals and local life here in Tassie. You can't come in. I have told you. You're too big. When he's not ashore molting and resting, like now, Neil the Seal dives deep in the Southern Ocean, where traffic has a natural order. So we get it that Neil doesn't get it on dry land. Not surprisingly, Neil is known to police, mostly for being a layabout. But, like, seals don't know what's wrong or right because they are not human like us. Whatever, says Neil. The way you guys live is weird. Like this witch's hat. I mean, do I have to do everything? This is Neil's world. We're just living in it. When he came to your place, has he caused you any dramas? Oh, 100%, yeah. Jono is the local surf coach. He's uh, stopped us going from work by laying behind the cars. Um, he's also, you know, parked himself out the front there for, for a few days and, and uh, caused, a, caused a big scene. So lots Lo of... Lots of, sort of oh, just lots of tourists, lots of people wanting to come down and be a part of it and, um, and check it out. If Neil could talk, he'd probably say this. I mean, give me a break. Most of the time, I'm a stand-up seal, but at 700 kgs, my natural curiosity can be kind of cumbersome. Oh, Neil, naughty boy. He's a young teenager and he's exploring his boundaries and we need to give him the space to do that. Sam Fellman, a marine biologist with the Tasmanian Conservation Program, says Neil will grow to five metres and weigh 3,000 kilograms. Interest from the public, he says, was so intense that conservationists were forced to sedate and relocate the seal. Not only is it risky to the animal, the sedation, it starts to alter their behaviour. When we become so involved in an animal and interact with them, they start to lose their fear of humans. They start to lose their wild type behaviours and that in itself in the long run is extremely risky to this animal's survivorship in the long term. Neil was born here in South East Tasmania. Now he's a four year old. Uh, his mother reared him as she does, 23 days, and then leaves him alone. On a beach? On the beach. Neil learns where to forage from there, and this is where he was born, this is where he returns to. So he intersp intersperses his uh, behaviour with long periods at sea foraging, returning, sometimes to rest, and sometimes to molt. And that's when we see Neil ashore on our beaches. How would you describe Neil's personality? He's the equivalent of a teenager and he, he expresses himself and he uh, seeks to engage and discover new things. So he does have a, a quite a cheeky element to him. Joss runs the local store. Neil, she says, is a hoot. Like, he's just very random. He'll sit up um, in one spot, you know, for most of the day and then, uh, yeah, at various stages throughout the day, he decides to wander down and make a bit of a public appearance and cause a bit of chaos, obviously, with cars and people and things like that. The Tasmanian government doesn't want anybody to know where Neil this seal is. They want him to be safe and they don't want him to be harassed like he has a little bit in the past few weeks. But we've found Neil, he's in this car park. Here he comes, he's coming up to us. 
and the car park road has been blocked off. G'day, Neil. The car park has been blocked off his road, yeah. He may have a man's name and an adorable face, and my goodness, those eyes. But I'm thankful there's a four-wheel drive between us. For Neil, natural curiosity. For us, a very cute game of peekaboo. I know exactly where Neil is, but for his welfare, my lips are sealed. And Neil, your secret is safe with us.